All right, you guys, it's Austin here today. Um, we're gonna be checking out an eight and a half by 44 gooseneck. We are on the grounds of rock solid cargo right now. You guys, so like I was telling you, this is a 44 foot gooseneck, 36 foot on the floor, eight foot riser deck. If you'll notice right here on the side, we have a 080 polycore exterior. It's a multi-polymer, so a bunch of different kinds of plastics melted into a sheet with a thin aluminum coating. That is the best of the best, the thickest stuff we offer. There's no waves, no wrinkles that don't look like a tater chip bag, all right? Also, what we do is we do semi-screwless. So we did semi-screwless on the seams, not in the two middle studs. That just keeps some of the impression that the screw gives. So the sun, when it hits, it don't look like a reflection, a wave, a glare. So it's semi-screwless. On this trailer, we do have a 36 inch side door. So this customer opted for a 36 inch instead of a 48. On the exterior, you also notice we have a, a race light. So this right here is a 110 volt flood light. All right. It's LED and it is powered off of 110, so your electrical package and motor base, which I will show you in just a second. Also got a 12 volt light out here. This is a porch light, um, just sticks close to the trailer and it is ran off of a 12 volt battery or your truck. He has triple 7,000 pound axles. So triple 7,000 pound torsions. You have to have your torsions on your goosenecks. And basically he did an alloy wheel. So you'll see it's a black and chrome inlay. So he's got his nice flashy black and chromes. And then always remember, Whenever you do a torsion axle, you get 11 year warranty. So on your torsions, this one it does have an 11 year warranty. The trailer has a five year manufacturer warranty. There's that other light, that 110 volt race light on the rear of the trailer. And we got some loading lights up top. Those are gonna be 12 volt loading lights. So that's gonna provide all the lights you need back here to ramp maybe in a dark area or at night. This ramp door is rated to hold 6,300 pounds rotating weight. All right, so it does have jacks that goes in them holes to keep it, if you're loading something extremely heavy, it'll be able to tote that, okay? So a 6,300 pound rated ramp, a super duty ramp door. Over here on this side, you'll notice like, just like the other side, we got the 080 Polycore. It's nice and straight, it looks good. This is a silver frost color, a 080 exterior. As I always tell you, the neatest way on your electrical package to do this is a motor base plug. You'll take your motor base, open it, take your twist lock cord, plug it in, twist it, and that's going to power you. You'll go to your generator or your um, or your power source, your light, you know, your light line. On most goosenecks that we do, um, it comes standard with just a regular old manual crank jack. It would have a 12 by 12 fuel door right here, and I'll tell you, boy, that is a job. So, Watch your head, Jake. Up under here, this right here is a dual Bulldog hydraulic jack system. So it's hydraulic jacks, just a press of a button. You would turn the key and it'll let it up and down with just a button. There ain't no winding, winding, winding all day long to get it hooked and unhooked. Very convenient feature. That's a dual tandem Bulldog hydraulic jack, okay? All right, you guys, so this is that eight and a half by 44 I was telling you about. We're gonna go over the inside, like I said. It's gonna be kind of like an office trailer. At the same time, it's got winches and stuff. It's a very cool trailer. It's nice, so watch this. First off, we're gonna start with our ramp. So this right here is gonna be a Super Duty ramp door. It is covered in ATP. So it has ATP on your ramp and your flap, as well as you'll notice here, this is like a curtain flap. It's just made out of rubber, just makes an easy transition so you don't have a little inch to kick up on on your regular ramp flap. So just a little piece of plastic, all right? You come on up and you'll notice we're gonna run into a transition flap. So this is gonna take care of the transition from your ramp to your trailer. So if you have a dolly or something like that, your tires won't fall into that gap. That'll let it go straight over. So this is a 24 inch countertop, all right? But this countertop is a flip down shelf. So it does have legs on the bottom. So if he was wanting to load, I don't know, a little side by side or a golf cart or something of that nature back here, he could take them pins out, let these shelves down and he has his full width of his trailer, okay? So it's kind of like a hauler. At the same time, it does have shelf space um, for an office or whatever the case may be. So those are 24 inch deep flip down shelves back there. So this 30 inch side door, it basically takes care of your cabinets. So on the interior, if you'll notice, it's basically a nice big closet with 30 inch doors, has a couple shelves, all right? Has some plug-ins in there, a good little shelf right here to be able to stand, I don't know, a gas tank or something up, a propane tank. So there's plenty of storage in this, all right? So these are 12 by 12. Um, they're very, very bright. They hook up to your 110 package. Also behind Jake, if he wants to flip around, that looks like a 13.5 or either 15K BTU AC. They do have a total of two on here, so it's gonna keep it plenty cool enough, as well as it is insulated package. It's a 60 amp electrical package, 25 foot lifeline, all right? Up here, these ACs do have thermostats, so it's not just your control panel AC that you flip on the control panel. You actually have thermostats for it. 
These are going to be all your 110 volt switches. So you have some for your lights, um, the back lights, you, it's on three ways as well. I noticed some switches back there in the back. So those are all your 110 switches. These are your 12 volt switches for your interior lights as well as your outside lights. All right, very, very good. So these, like I said, these are two 36 by 36 cargo doors. All right, it's a Pro Series 95. All right, in here he has his electrical package. So he has a 60 amp motor, uh, his 60 amp panel box. Of course, that's hooked up to the motor base on the exterior, as well as he has a couple converters in here. So, you know, that's gonna convert all of the energy that he needs. Um, but this is a riser deck, an eight foot riser deck, 36 foot worth of box. He does have the E-Track on the wall still. Okay. All right, you guys, so this is Austin here at Renowned Cargo Trailers. Um, we're here on the grounds of Rock Solid Cargo today. I showed you this eight and a half by 44 gooseneck. Um, this trailer was built for, for Mr. Kenneth Shaw, um, Blade Runner Turbo Machinery Services. So that is who bought this trailer. We're, we appreciate your business. Um, thank you, Tyranny and Jamie, for building this trailer for him and doing exactly what he wanted. It's a phenomenal trailer. It's beautiful on the inside. Um, and as always, we're on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. If you can think of it, I'm pretty sure Miss Laura has got us on it. As well as you can reach us on our website, www.renowncargotrailers.com, or you can reach us at concessiontrailers.com. That is our new concession trailer website, so feel free to check us out there. And as always, the main way to reach us is 888-287-3954. We have 13 reps that's eager to earn your business, and until we see you then, you know the rest. Y'all be blessed.